Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, they do. Uh, Joe, Joe Pills is saying they do. Cleveland does train in Arizona. I thought they trained in Florida. Uh, Jaspies, uh, then I'll have to say Cleveland is for you. Jaspies high end, three box, quick hit football mixer, random team break number two, just three quick boxes, XR, absolute, flawless, collegiate, going by our college rules. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up. Congrats to the winners in those two fillers we did. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams three and a five, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We got Jeff down to Simon after eight. Nice. Good Zenith break for you. Congrats, Joe. Three and a five, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got Joe Pizzle here. We got Mad Joe here. We got Joe Jaspi. Jojo Mojo. Mojo Jojo. All right, Jeff, you got my Raiders, Aaron with the Titans, Tristan with the Eagles, Brock with the Buccaneers, Justin, Lions, and Steelers. Devin with the Dolphins, Jason with the Chiefs, Tristan with the Chargers, Jason with the Vikings, Jeff with the Giants, Devin with the Cowboys, Aaron with the Bills, Simon with the Bears, Chad with the Falcons, Justin with the Commanders, Devin with the Cardinals, Oliver with the Jets, Justin with the Patriots, Raymond with the Bengals, Justin with the Colts, Raymond with the Texans, Devin with the Ravens, Mike with the Packers, Les with the Saints, Justin with the Broncos, Raymond with the Jaguars, Jason with the Niners, Jeff with the uh, Rams, Joe Cook, another Joe here, Seattle Seahawks, Kevin with the Browns, and Simon with the Carolina Panthers. A lot of Joes here. Looking very, very Joe-ish today. All right, uh, we're going to pause the video just for a few moments. We're going to see if there's any trades in the of the break. Be right back. All right, welcome back. No deals were done here. Still a Thursday night for me. Big thanks, everybody. Jason Jasper will be taking care of you the next couple nights here on YouTube. While I'm away for my weekend, and then I'll be back on Sunday watching the Pro Bowl. Or Pro Bowl might be over by then. I think it starts early, but we can talk about it. Talk about the Pro Bowl. Flag football, what does everyone think? Is that, is that going to be fun or dumb? Oliver was okay with the festivities today. Yeah, we kind of had it on the background earlier today here at the shop and here on my TV over here. It seemed all right. It's okay. Although I feel like I could do some of those quarterback drills out there. Maybe not with the same velocity that they're, that they're throwing it at, but I feel like I could get it up. <laughs> I could lob one up there, hit some targets. Trey Lance to 75. That's for the Niners. Jason, and there's Desmond Ritter, 002 out of 100. For the Falcons, that'll be for Chad. And we've got Terrell Davis, Groundhogs, 45 out of 49. Was Terrell Davis the last running back to get a Super Bowl MVP? Or was has there, there, there hasn't been a lot of running backs as MVPs. And even fewer wide receivers, I want to say. Although the most recent one was last year, Cooper Cup. This goes to Justin and the Broncos. Yeah, Groundhogs on Groundhogs Day. What did, what did Punxsutawney Phil say? What did he say? More winter? There's Nick Bolton for the Chiefs, Jason Kay. Uh, there's team tandems, Tyron Davis Price and Eli Mitchell, 21 out of 99. That goes to Jason Kay and the Niners. Oliver wishes the Pro Bowl was back in Hawaii. Husky Dolphins saying the state found it not cost-effective to pay for the Pro Bowl. 
the city pays for the Pro Bowl? I thought the NFL... Oh, six more weeks of winter. I thought the NFL footed the bill. All right, behind Kyler Murray is Christian Kirk, who I think had a pretty nice season with the Jaguars. 26 out of 50. That'll be for Raymond and the Jags. Here. Oh, are they down here? Are they over here? Just one? Just this, that hit? Okay. Jahan Dotson to 100 for Justin. James Winston. Keontae Ingram to 275. Wow, there was mention one year the state was like paying $4 million to the NFL just to host it? Huh. And there's, nice, Kenny Pickett, triple relic, quadruple relic and autograph, 47 out of 49, Justin Beard with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Not too shabby at all. All right, a box of XR. What's in it for the cities then? I guess that's what Hawaii thought. What's in it for the cities? If they're having to pay for the rights to just for the just to say they had like football players in their state or something like that. Simulate business in the local economy, I suppose. Maybe it just didn't add up. There's Matt Corral to 99, David Montgomery to 249. We got Jelani Woods 99, John Mechie. The players enjoyed having it there. Or the hotels get to jack up rates, and maybe it helps. Maybe it helps on the other way. Phil, Phil the Groundhog has got his prediction right 40% of the time in the last 10 years. Like Last Spot Mojo, 40% of the time, of the time he's right 100% of the time. Joe Pizzle. That's right, Oliver. He's like Last Spot Mojo. Charles saying even worse in the NFL, maybe. Armed forces pay? Yeah, it is a big. I don't think they're making them pay. I think it's a big advertising. It's a big recruiting campaign, right? I think that's what that is. Sixteen out of thirty-five. Yeah, the NFL is not not honoring our troops uh, out of goodwill. Garrett Wilson going to Oliver. There you go, Oliver. Jets. Nice. Triple relic and auto. Rookie. So, but ultimately, Husky Dolphins, so the tourism and the people traveling to see the Pro Bowl, that did not offset the money generated versus the money they have to pay. So I guess, I guess that makes sense. Steven Montgomery to 99, Jalen Waddle to 99. Najee, Jaira, Alexander, and and we got a Jahan Dotson. Nice. Five out of 49 for Justin and the Commanders. And there's Aiden Hutchinson, triple threat, seven out of 25. Yeah, the Pentagon paid fourteen of them five hundred to salute the troops. Yeah, no, you're right. It's it's advertising. That's 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 what they're that's how they consider it. I don't think the NFL made the Pentagon pay that kind of money. I think the Pentagon wanted to pay that money to advertise as an advertising thing for the NFL to salute the troops. 
but really it's it's a recruiting campaign is what it turned out to be and the, you know and you know how the NFL is they'll be more than happy to take that money all right so let's get now uh, remember there's no checklist for this at least on groupbreakchecklist.com for 2022 flaws collegiate football so we're going by our no checklist rules or our college rules sometimes we call it uh, means that the players that are in here, they'll go to the team they're currently on if they're active um, or the team that they played for the longest if they're retired players. And usually that goes to the teams they played for the longest. So I want to cover up the hit so I don't want to see that too soon. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, we got Eric Uz, uh, Uzkanama, 5 out of 25. He signs his cards easy E. If you ever see his autograph. I think he's a, I think he's a dolphin. He is. Easy E. It's just easier that way. All right, Easy E is a dolphin. That will go to. Where's Miami? That goes to Devin in Miami. Kyle Hamilton, 22 out of 25, dual relic. Kyle Hamilton, I believe, is a raven. I think he's a bird. He is a bird. He's a raven. I'm going to leave these here for tomorrow. Like sure. It's all good. Who's got Baltimore? Devin in Baltimore. Uh, I don't know. Thanks, Carlos. Yeah, it's ravens. I don't know when regular. I'll, I'll look that up on the calendar after this break. We got Doug Flutie. Oh, this is going to be confusing. I think he's played for a number of teams. Or did he play for one team longer than another? We'll use footballreference.com and games and then game started, et cetera, et cetera, as tiebreakers. Yeah, so he played for New England and San Diego for four seasons. And we're going to use games, the next column over, as a tiebreaker. He played 22 games for New England. 26 games for the San Diego Chargers. So that'll go to Tristan and the Chargers. All right, see you guys. See you next week. All right, then we have this person here who I know as a, as a basketball player, but this Cameron Thomas, Arizona Cardinals, four out of 20. And that's for Devin and the Cardinals. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, once, that, once that drops, or once we get an idea of exactly when, when that's going to happen, Flawless Victory is a... Uh, I mean, we usually post that stuff like a week or so in advance. 7 out of 25, Nakobe Dean. Nakobe Dean is... Cleveland? I'm usually pretty good at this by the end of the season, but... No, he's, he's with the Eagles. Close. Same time zone. Go Birds, Tristan. With the Phillies. With the Eagles, that is. Did Ryan Shazier of the Steelers sign this in the wrong place? <laughs> 23 out of 25. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan, you're supposed to sign it over here, buddy. 
I wonder if he did the did this with all the cards. This will go to Justin and the Steelers. Nice. Um, 17 out of 20. Another Steeler, George Pickens. Nice break for Justin Beard and the Steelers. You got the Shazier. You got the Kenny Pickett. You got the George Pickens. And we still have three more encased cards to go. I think the autograph was on this side, yeah. So these gems, naturally mine, not lab grown. That's what the small print says. Yeah, sorry, Oliver, making Oliver jealous. He's a big Steelers guy. First one is, is Sam Williams, 14 out of 25, Sam Williams diamond. I have no idea where Sam Williams goes. Sam Williams cowboys. That's going to go to Devin in Dallas. This should be another gem right here. Oh, Aiden Hutchinson. Oh, it's a jersey and autograph. Six out of ten. Go blue. Well, he didn't have to go very far, right? That goes to Justin and Detroit. Nice. Congrats. The Lions kind of building a building a decent team out there, I feel like. All right, and the final one, final hit of the night. Good luck. Should be another autograph. And it is John Mechie the third. Twelve out of fifteen. Sapphire and autograph. We go from Detroit. I'm gonna fly down to Houston. That's gonna go to Raymond. And the Texans. Hopefully, what's his health prognosis? He's gonna. He was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's maybe lymphoma, something like leukemia or something like that. Something scary, but but should be curable. Hopefully, he gets on the football field. All right, and gets healthy, obviously. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserakes.com. That was your high-end three-box quick hit football mixer random team break number two, second half of this case. Thanks for getting into it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.